Y'all have been asking and asking, and so I thought today would be a great day to answer your burning question about the dating scene in Fort Collins, Colorado. We help people from all walks of life relocate, buy their first home, sell a home here in Fort Collins, Colorado. But a big question we get from people who are moving here for the first time, especially our singles, is what is the dating scene like here in Fort Collins? Fort Collins is very well known for being a college town, home of the Rams, as well as being a great place for families to grow their families here, start their families here, as well as move here as well. So many people, and we have many clients who move here who are single in their 20s, 30s, 40s, not planning on going to school, wonder what's the dating scene like for them if they don't yet have a family, but that's maybe something that they want one day. I think it's a totally valid concern for those relocating here to know if this is gonna be a place where they may find the love of their life. So I'm here to answer that question for you today. Now, if you've seen my previous videos, you do know that I did move to Fort Collins to come to CSU. I have graduated almost four years ago now, um, coming up in May. And so I'm now 25 and I'm gonna be coming from the perspective of what I would tell someone my age or older, what I would do if they were moving here single and wanted to know how they could meet somebody. The first question many people have is, are there even singles in this town? With it being so college and family friendly, can I even find somebody here? Is there even a single human being in this town? The answer is yes. 1000% yes. We have so many people moving to Fort Collins every single year. This is such a desirable place to live. Fort Collins is constantly ranked as in the top best college towns, best towns to live top cities to live. There are so many reasons and so many people from all walks of life who choose to move here. And from 2020 to 2021, Colorado had a net migration of almost 15,000 people. Now I gotta presume some of them gotta be single. And you may not meet your person in Fort Collins. There's a lot of cities around us. So I do wanna also preface that. We do also have the Denver Metro, but I will be exclusively talking about where to meet people here in Fort Collins. But 15,000 people moved here from 2020 to 2021. There are so many people moving here all the time. It is such a desirable place to live, like I said, for all walks of life. In 2021, Colorado ranked seventh nationally for the number of one-way rentals. And this was taken from a U-Haul report. So people are coming and people are not leaving. Second question that many people have is, is it easy to meet people? And how do I meet people? If you haven't already watched my Finding Community in Fort Collins video, definitely go check that out. I think there's a lot of overlap between how to meet friends, how to make community, and how to meet a significant other. I think it can be done all at the same time. So definitely go check that video out. There's a lot of specifics on different communities and different activities that you can be a part of and ideas um, of how to get involved in Fort Collins and, at, and our community. I and mean, you never know who you're gonna meet from that. But like I said, there are so many activities and communities that are year round here in Fort Collins. While it may snow in the winter time, it may get cold. What I love is that there's stuff indoors, outdoors, but also with how sunny it is, we have outdoor activities all year round. And so if you're an outdoor enthusiast, you can still meet the love of your life in the dead of winter. Plus, I wanna add, people are so kind here. Like, so, so kind. You could meet someone in the grocery store, people are so kind. You could meet someone in your neighborhood. I mean, maybe don't, maybe that's like too close to meet somebody just in case it doesn't go like super well. But people are so kind here, so welcoming. And so I do want to preface that. If you, the idea of moving here and one of the things you wanna do is meet somebody, if that makes you feel a little nervous, I just wanna say that meeting people in general here is is so easy because everyone is so kind and wants you to feel welcome. This is a personal example, but I mentioned in my finding community video that finding a church is one of the biggest ways that I have found community here in Fort Collins. And that's actually how I met my boyfriend. But what's funny is we met through a mutual friend outside of the church who had tried to set us up months prior. And so, and so we had been going to the same church for months and didn't even know it, which is super funny. I also had a crush on him for longer than he knew, but who would have thought that that's where I would, I definitely didn't think that that's where I would have met someone, especially it being a smaller church compared to the churches that I have been to. And so you never, you never know where you're gonna meet somebody. This leads me into ways to meet people. Now, like I said, go check out the community video. There are specific activities and communities that I do mention and I didn't even mention half of them, but I definitely think the first way to meet people is, is find an activity. Do something that you love. I think one of the fun, and I'm speak, speaking specifically to people who are moving here and maybe like are starting over from the beginning. Maybe you don't know anybody here, which is, I didn't know anybody here when I moved here. Yes, I didn't go to school, but still, I didn't know anybody. I think something that's so fun when you start dating someone and, and through dating is like seeing what hobbies they like and what you like and showing each other your hobbies and your interests. And so I think by joining a community, by having your own activities, and you may meet someone doing that, like that's the beauty of it. But at the same time, you're like 
almost preparing yourself because I think it's great. Like I, I think it would not be as fun to meet someone who's like, yeah, I just moved here and I haven't really like tried anything. And I like, don't really know any, like don't know anything. And I don't know what restaurants are good. Like get out there, see what's around. Because when you want to ask a lady out on a date, it's nice to have a little bit of a plan. You know what I'm saying? So definitely join um, activities and communities. You may meet someone who shares it and a hobby of yours. It's also something that you could show someone in the future. I also think that having community, which is by joining activities, you can create this. is so important to have when you are dating because you may start dating a quack and then <laughs> someone can, someone in your community can be like, hey, like maybe like not the right person, you know? So I think it's great to have people in your corner. And I also think that having a community is a great way to meet people. And I'll explain that as my third tip. My second tip is our meetup social events app for Fort Collins. I spent some time looking through this. We have so many different social clubs and I think that that's a great way to meet people. And if showing up to something, like I personally would be a little nervous about this. Like I like meeting people in more of a natural way, just kind of through activities that I do um, or things that I go to and just connect with someone and then kind of like get to know their community. But I think that if that makes you a little nervous going to something where you don't know anybody, or maybe if you have a friend, both sign up together because it'll tell you how many spots are left if there's like a maximum amount of spots. They do have also online Zoom meetups, which I think is great. And I was looking and some of them were on um, working through social anxiety and um, developing your social skills. And so what's cool is if those are areas that you need to work on, everyone else on that call is also needing to work on that area. So you might find your special someone through that, but if anything, you might just meet some people who are trying to do the same thing. And it could be an easy like, hey, so nice to meet you on that call. Let's get some coffee. I'd love to you know, get to know you. And this could be a friend or a significant other. But I think even through Zoom, you can meet somebody and see where it goes. Some of the groups that I found while looking on the meetups was our 40s plus social club. Um, we have a NOCO 30s and 40s social club. Um, new friends social club. So that's specifically people looking for new friends, but you never know what's going to come out of that. Sounds co-ed to me. Um, we have a Fort Collins single 60 plus group, which is awesome. I love that. <laughs> They're doing an appetizer and cookie exchange here coming up. We have a 20s and 30s new to town group. They're doing um, a burlesque show at the whiskey coming up and then they're also doing a homeless um, care package like meetup and so what a great way to serve your community and meet people in your age range at the same time the third way to meet people and i think this is a great way to meet people this is technically how i met my boyfriend is to tell your friends that you're you're interested and you are open to dating now i did not do that i am i do not like people knowing that because i don't like the whole setup thing it makes me uncomfortable <laughs> but Letting your friends know, because that's how I met my boyfriend through a, we had a mutual friend. And so I think that by telling your friends, like what's cool is they know you, they know this person and they're intentionally bringing you together for a reason. So, you know, while when you go to these social groups or when you join activities, like, yeah, you may have like surface level stuff in common, but maybe at a deeper level, you know, there's not much clicking, but when someone knows both of you and brings you together, I think there's a lot, there's something special about that. And so there's the power of, of your the network of the people that you know, which is why I think finding community um, is the most important part because it can also lead to a dating life. You never know what's gonna happen. All right, I wanna finish by giving you guys some date ideas specific to Fort Collins. Now, I personally am somebody who for a first date, let's say you don't really know them, I like to keep it short and sweet because you never really know what's going to happen. That was, I remember, this is why I say this, because my freshman year, seven years ago in, in at CSU, I met someone online on a dating app. He had planned this whole date out, which was great. It was a six hour day and five minutes in, I was like, no. So like, don't do that. Don't be like me. Don't be stuck on something for longer than you need to be. And I think also like safety is really important. Um, meeting somewhere I think is great when the first time you meet them because you have no idea. Public spaces are good. During the day is good. My personal, one of my personal favorite places to meet someone is a coffee shop. I love working at coffee shops. I love meeting new friends at coffee shops. I think that that's a great way to get to know someone. Coffee, so if you, it's like a big fat no right away, you only have to drink coffee. You're not even waiting on like your waitress to come bring you the check, you know what I'm saying? So my favorite coffee place is Starry Nights open till 8 p.m. It's also super sweet in an old town. I also really like to stick to old town just because I think it's really sweet and fun. I love the atmosphere of it. And I think that if maybe 
you can be a little awkward on first dates. I think it's nice to be around people and be in like super silent areas and like allow that like silence to play out. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's good for you, but still. <laughs> um, so Starry Night, I love and open later. They have great cakes and their sandwiches are amazing as well. And get the quinoa. I love the turkey jalapeno sandwich with the quinoa. I know you didn't ask, but I'm telling you. And the next time you go, it's amazing. Explorado. Love Explorado. They are gluten-free, friendly, celiac friendly. Um, they're in the square too, and I think the square is super sweet. Um, open till I think about three. Sometimes they're open later. Their focaccias are amazing. Once again, I know you didn't ask, but I just have to say it. And then Dark Heart and Loveland, one of my favorite places to go. So I think those are all great coffee shops. There's so many, there's so many in town. So find whatever is your jam um, and invite someone there. I think another great first date, second date, third date idea is to go take a walk in, in a park. I love the idea of getting like takeout or making a meal and then meeting at a park. I think it's really sweet, keeps it public, you're outside. I just think it's a really great way to get to know somebody. There's four to fun if you like putt-putt. We have Pinball Jones if you like arcade games. I think the exchange is a really sweet place to go for a first date or sec whatever date you want it to be. Because if, especially if you don't know what kind of food they like, um, what I love about that place is you could get Bacho's Tacos. There's the Copper Mill Distillery. So if you want to get a drink, they make their own alcohol in house. Super, super great drinks. There's Old Town Putt there. Penrose is great. And then for dessert, Old Churn Ice Cream. I love their ice cream. All homemade as well. And also super cute, lots of outdoor seating. Um, there's like lights. I think it's a super sweet place to go for as a date night. And then a couple more ideas I'm gonna throw at you guys. Escape rooms, I think we have about three of them here. I've done one of them, they're super fun. And then um, my boyfriend actually told me about this, salsa dancing at the Rio. And it's like a salsa dancing for beginners. So if you neither of you know or you don't know, totally fine. Salsa dancing for the beginners and then they have a social after it. So, so even as like a way to meet somebody, you could go like for the social part if you're into dancing or it's a great place to take someone for the first date and the Rio has the best margaritas. Obviously we have movie theaters. Our Cinemax in the Foothills Mall is very, I think it's very bougie. I think it's great. Um, we also have the Holiday Twin Drive-In. I personally though, like if you're getting to know somebody, why do you want to sit in silence? You know what I'm saying? So. I'm all about like something that's cool about an escape room is <laughs> you'll learn a lot about a person in an hour. Are they competitive? How do we work as a team? Who leads? Do we work together well? You know, there's how do they respond under pressure? Um, I think that that's a great way to meet somebody and to get to know them pretty quickly. <laughs> if you're looking to relocate to Fort Collins, Colorado, and you're interested in working with us, do not hesitate to call, text, find me on Instagram. My information is down below. We are a boutique brokerage that has a crap ton of knowledge. And so you really get to experience us as a team. We have so many different personalities, but we love working together. And so if you have any questions about what it would be like to move here to Fort Collins, even if you're a year out, two years out, reach out to us. We'd love to talk to you. Thank you so much, you guys. Comment, like, subscribe if you like this. My boss will let me keep doing them and I'll see you guys next time.